re oh shit, it's me again, <laughs> and uh, welcome back to my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. I'm here playing the Godfather mission in the Bonfire of the Vanities DLC where I have to go and rescue uh, Christina. Nope. Uh, Christina? Katarina Sforza's children. I'm a little frazzled. I just got finished playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 for the first time, so my nerves are a little sh hot, if you don't mind. But I have to go and get them, and I have ten and a half, nine and a half minutes to do so. We'll go up here. And over. Oh, no, really? Oh, shit! Up the building, quickly! Thank you. I just heard a rooster. Why? I heard a cack! <laughs> Shut up! I have eight and a half minutes to rescue two children! I don't like children! But I will rescue children. Nothing? Oh, they're not guards. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they were guards. My bad. Okay. One of them's in here somewhere. And this place is completely surrounded by guards, so I'm probably gonna die because I am unusually nervous for no reason. Get down or I'll throw you down. You're right, you're right. I absolutely do. Do I have throwing knives? I do. Okay. I will use them against him. If need be. Fine. Oh, didn't need to that time. Never mind. Okay, where is the kid? Is this all the men you have to hold me? Stolti. It won't be enough. My mama is fierce. We sports oh, women we are no wilting flowers. We may look pretty to the eye, but the eyes deceive. Just ask Babo. Oops. <laughs> She's just like her mother. Oops. I hope you don't really imagine I'm scared of you. They're dead, dear. Look, they're dead. <laughs> Grazie, Grazie, mistere. But my brother, they're holding Ottaviano at the lighthouse. I will go and get him. I want to read your database, too. Bianca Riario. Some people live a dream. Bianca Riario was not one of those people. Aw. Shortly after Bianca's 10th birthday, her father, Gio Girolamo, was stabbed to death and his naked body thrown into the middle of the town square. Well, aside from the naked body thrown into the town square, father died, 10th birthday. Does that remind you of anything? <laughs> Bianca escaped the Orsies and returned to her mother. How exactly this escape was accomplished is unknown. <laughs> what we know now. Then, when she was 16, while out on a hunting expedition with her mother's new husband, Giacomo Feo, she witnessed his brutal ambush and assassination. In 1500, Bianca's mother was taken prisoner by Cesare Borgia, that's in Brotherhood, and apparently raped by Rodrigo and Cesare. However, it's if this is the same imprisonment in the Castello Sant'Angelo I'm thinking of, Caterina told Ezio that she wasn't uh, defiled. Cesare then killed Bianca's husband, Astore Il Manfredi, in 1502. She married again, this time to a count, Torrio Iderossi, good god, who died in 1521, at which point she wisely decided to give up on life and went to her grave sometime around 1522. That's so awful! God, this poor girl! Ludovico Orsi. I think it'd be best to avoid such conflicts. Alright, where's this kid? I keep thinking I can use eagle vision to, like... To see through the walls, but that is Eagle Pulse from Unity, and so that is not a thing in this game. Alright, where's the boy? Out that way further. Alright, oh, Ezio can't climb trees! Oh shit. Give me a moment, sir. Are you wearing armor by any chance? Very light armor. I think I should be able to take you out with one knife. Okay then. You are Shut up! Okay, he's here. How much you wanna bet he's up there? I'll bet my florins on it. Actually, no, because I have a lot of florins. You want to see your boy walk again, Katarina? Give us what we want, or I'll throw him off the edge! Mama, help Whoa. me! I don't want to be here anymore! Oh, Sit down, Marmocchio! Let's go, Katarina. Show yourself. You have to That's not what I wanted. Or your kids are crippled. Then you'll be Bran Stark. And he's a pretty cool kid, if I don't mind my saying. That's the that's the 100th feather pee. I collected in my first save. Please, Messere. I need to go to the bathroom. Just let me go pee. Oh, per 
Dio, chiudi il becco! Ehi! Hey! Bastardo! Hello. Salve! It's okay, boy. Oh, stop crying. Stop acting like a baby. What are your balls? Breaks my heart. He's gotta be way up higher. He probably has to piss himself because he's so high up. Can I have something to eat? Please, Mister, I'm hungry. Basta, basta, you're giving me a headache. Keep going, Ottaviano. I'll read about you in a second. Yes! Screw you, how dare you? Where is the kid? Katerina was a fool to send you. Was she? Or are you the fool, dying for a handful of change? Was it worth it? More than you know. The maestro gains his prize because of me. Maestro? Mori col tuo orgoglio, per quanto vale. Requiescat in pace. You asshole! Okay, where's that baby boy? I want to read about Ottaviano too. There you are. Hello. Grazie, signore. You need a haircut, kid. But you're welcome. <laughs> I want to read about him. Godfather. Well, shame I've already gotten this flippin' viewpoint. Bianca. Ottaviano, here you are. Ottaviano entered the service of the Florentine Republic as a condottiero when he was 19 at the request of his mother, Caterina Sforza, who wanted to cement amiable relations with Florence. She, he, excuse me, commanded 100 men from Forli, but terminated his contract after only a year because Florence didn't have the money to pay him. Well, that sucks. Despite accounts which describe Ottaviano as obese, brainless, and under his mother's thumb, Pope Alexander VI, Rodrigo Borgia, offered his daughter Lucrezia to Ottaviano. Why? Because Rodrigo decided that those were traits he could tolerate in a son-in-law, as long as that son-in-law was the key to controlling the territories of Forli and Imola. Nice. Very, very nice. <sighs> Plus, his praying mantis of a daughter, Lucrezia. <laughs> that's actually a pretty, that's a pretty perfect description. Rarely stayed married to one man for long. Her husbands tended to sign declarations for impotence or just simply disappeared. Uh-huh. Wisely, Caterina denied the marriage, enraging the Pope and leading to his son Cesare's assault on Forli. When Caterina was ousted by Cesare and entered her exile in Florence, under her guidance, Ottaviano attempted to convince the new Pope, Julius II, to give him back the lordship of Imola and Forli. But instead, Ottaviano ended up selling the Riaro claim to Julius for an IOU, no less. Oh, nice. Not wanting to marry Lucrezia was probably the wisest thing that kid ever did. There is no sound effects. A little too quiet here. What happened to the music? All right, we're going back to talk to Katarina. How long have I been going? Not long at all. I have plenty of time. But we saved the kids. Yay. All right, here we go. I made it back. I got our kids safe. All right, here they are. What are you doing out here? I'm so sorry, Ezio. I'm so She's sorry. She's covered in blood. What happened? It was a trick to lower our defenses. As soon as you left, they attacked again. Kedko Orsi, he has the apple. Well, what? shit. No. Where is he? We chased him out here. But the bastards escaped into the mountains. I'm going. I am going indeed. Merda. Kedko, mate. That's <laughs> funny. Find and eliminate Keko Orsi to retrieve the apple. I will! I killed his brother. He can't be very happy about that. Can I go underneath that? I can. But maybe I don't want to. Oh my god! Well, okay then. Let me just get that out. Hello! Wait. Oh, hello. You're my target. Well then. Okay. Come here, you! Damn it, he was right in front of me. Uh, Woo! Do not get on the horse! Do not get on the horse! Okay, I thought he was getting on the horse, and I was very upset. No! <laughs> Just keep jumping! Yo! Knock it off! Oh shit! Trees are Ezio's worst enemy. <laughs> oh, here we go. That one is very I'm gonna have good. one hell of a fight ahead of now. Wow! I hit V to counter! I'm still hitting V to counter! Okay, hold on a minute. Just hold on one moment, please. 
again was it worth it so much bloodshed <coughs> a prize of such value it will not remain yours for long it's not meant we to be anybody's see. oh god che miseria nascono dalla vita requiescat in pace jesus I want to say something about unity, but it's like a super. Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh! You asshole! What a sneaky son of a bitch! Oh god. No! We shall see indeed. No! Give it Don't. back! Who are you? You're s wait. Stop. Don't open it. Don't do it! And I'm out. Wasn't- That was Savonarola, wasn't it? I think? Yeah! That went well! But I, I want to say something about Unity, but it's like super spoilers, like the very end of the game. Ezio, thank God you're back with us. Buongiorno. Are you all right? What happened to you? God, I'm pale. I don't know. Holy shit, I'm a One ghost! One of the guards had the luck to find you in the hills, next to Kekko Orsi's dead body. Yeah. See, that I remember. Wait, there was a third man. I need some food or something. the apple. Who? He wore a black robe, like a monk. And I think... Missing finger. See, si. Katerina, I have to go right away. Of course. Then you will need this as well. Riario's map? The map Nicolò spoke of. Your husband. Ex-husband, mio caro. He swore he'd uncovered the locations of all the Codex pages. You will recover the apple, ah! but you will never find the vault without this. You know, Molto grazie. there is an abbey in the wetlands near here. Where I've seen monks wearing black robes. I'd start there. Now go. Find us a stramaladetto monk. I think I'm going to lose you, Katarina. Good oh, God. I know you will. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> oh my, I forgot he got stabbed. Huh. That was scary. God, I want to say that spoiler so bad. I s well, it's like at the very, very end of the game, very sad moment. And it involves Jeff Man, that's all I'll say. Shut up! Ouch. Shut up! Am I still pale as fuck? Nope, I am not. By the way, all of a sudden I noticed I have a beard. Was I really under for that long? Unconscious, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Where's my objective? I suppose I should start collecting the codex pages. <laughs> They're totally gonna get me as I come out, but still, I like doing that. Just throwing a smoke and just wandering in. It's it's cool, okay? Climb faster than that. Out of the way, birdie. All right, here we go. Synchronize. Okay. Now, how do I get down? There we go. Seventy-three. Oh my god. 
for some stupid reason. All right, it's another codex page. Excellent. As I notice I go by them, I'll pick them up. But that part where you have to go around and collect all the codex pages to in order to progress the story, that part's coming up. So I don't maybe I'll make that like a bonus video or something like that, me going around and collecting all of them. I'll skip over it if you guys want. Eh, my headphones are caught on something. Eh. All right, I made it. Far from the tree, search the abbey located in the Romagna wetlands for the black-robed monk who stole the apple of Eden. Okay. I see lots of black-robed monks. <sighs> this is a restricted area. This is, I'm assuming, I have to blend with these gentlemen. I am also a black-robed monk of some kind, but in the words of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my church is not of God. Sup, broskies, how you doing? Obviously I can't go in. Wait, is that him? I thought I saw yeah, that's him! I see him! Right there! You want to fight? Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's not him. Brother O'Callahan. Son of bitch! There! I am a, 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 a monk in black robes who lacked one of his ten fingers. Well, Brother Guido has only nine toes. Are you sure it wasn't a toe? Quite sure. And then there's Brother Dominicho, but its entire left arm he's lacking. Again, quite sure it was a finger. Hmm, now wait a moment. I do recall a black robed monk with nine fingers. Yes, of course. When we had our last San. San. Uh, San. Vincenzo's feast in the, at the Abbey. Yes, I know the place. I'll try there. Grazie. <laughs> Go in peace, brother. I always do. Okay. Sweet! <laughs> I did some narration! Call me up, Ubisoft. I want to get into voice acting. <laughs> Brother O'Callahan! You have a database, apparently. We worked in the fields from dawn until dusk. Abbot Shaw wouldn't allow us to drink, and worst of all, the only girls were nuns. This was a deeper level of hell than I'd ever imagined possible. He wants to get girls, so he leaves his father and <laughs> goes to a monk? Like, uh, it goes to an abbey? In 1500, he died of what had, be had been described as bad blood, but was most likely syphilis. His body was buried in the small cemetery beside the church. Interesting! Very interesting about you, sir! Let go! Why? Why should I? Why should I? <laughs> That'll teach you to read your lines when it's your turn! I want no part of this! I don't have to do all your work for you! Alright, where's this Herald? There you are! Shut your fucking mouth! You know what, I've actually been going for way too long here, so before I enter this green circle here, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode. Shut up! I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. Alright, that is most definitely something new! What in the bloody hell is that? Freak freak!